Does it have a really bad trajectory drop? It shouldn't for a gun like this, but let's shoot way over his head. Nope, okay. Let's shoot way below. It's not, it's not hitting him. Look at that. There is no way that should be missing. If I can't hit the broadside of a bear, this game is broken. Welcome back everybody to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to work towards getting our, cell, our second um, solar powered uh, deep mining drill going on an iron node uh, because I'm pretty low on iron at the moment. Uh, we need to go check the one, uh, the copper one too um, because it's probably got a pretty decent amount of stuff in it. But uh, I spent a little bit of time, not, excuse me, not a whole lot of time after I left you guys in the last episode off camera. And we have almost the entire up floor, uh, or upper floor, I should say, upgraded to, my brain was having <laughs> problems with upgraded and upper floor at the same time, um, to concrete. Uh, I still have these two walls here. Now, from what I was seeing, it didn't appear like these lower walls were taking any damage. At least, you know, they might for the, you know, more nasty storms, but everything I've seen so far, uh, they weren't taking any damage, so... We might not need to upgrade the bottom floor, maybe just the top floor. I also uh, upgraded out here. We got uh, this little shed here, that which powers our water pump, and this wall upgraded to concrete. I didn't notice any of these foundations here taking damage. Um, so it, apparently the storms don't affect the foundations, as far as I could tell. Oh, did they change the way those water pipes look? Or is that just a, a lighting thing? Um, let's see, what what else? The, I just up uh, or downloaded rather the update that fixes the issue with the storms. Um, if you guys didn't already know this, there was an issue where the storms were like happening like almost back to back, and um, I was noticing that. And I haven't actually played the game uh, since then, uh, since the last episode. And then, you know, the little bit of time that I played after that, uh, just because I've been extremely busy with my job in real life. And, you know, speaking of that, I still am um, kind of tied down with work stuff for another week or so uh, until uh, Monday, March, or no, February, yeah, Monday, February the 13th. Uh, and then, oh, I don't have that selected. And then after the 13th, then I'll, I'll have a couple of weeks where I'm back to kind of a normal schedule, and then I have to go out of town again for work. So, yeah, this is just a very busy, going to be a very busy next few months for me. Uh, so what that means to you guys, of course, is that uh, I'm not going to be able to, to continue doing daily episodes pretty much on, on any of my series that I'm doing on the channel, but I will keep them coming as I get time to do so. Uh, so just be aware of that, and yeah, so there you go. A little bit of IRL stuff interfering with gaming time, but that's the way it goes, right? <laughs> um, okay, so let's see here. I'm also uh, out of silicon. That's why I haven't finished um, the I haven't finished the um, the concrete because I ran out of silicon. Uh, so we need to go get that, and we need to work on getting uh, another one of our deep core drills going on mining uh, on an iron thing. The other thing that the update did is they uh, they said they optimized the game a bit and it's uh i don't know I, I can't really tell at the moment if it feels like it's running a little bit better now or not uh so i guess time will tell on that so we'll, we'll just kind of see how things go as far as that goes okay so um what else had a few comments about uh going i don't know if i mentioned this in the last episode or not but um, you got a couple of you, uh, at least two, maybe even three of you, were saying that I need to go through the Arctic to get at, um, over into the the Central River Basin, um, and that's fine because I need to go into the Arctic anyways, and we can't get there through M7 because that's blocked and it'll remain blocked unless I do the Zephyr quest, uh, which I might or might not do. I don't know. Uh, we'll see, um, uh, but. As of right now, from what I've been told, is if you guys catch, a, I don't know, two or three episodes back, 
uh, we were out in the desert here and we discovered that this cave that goes over into this area is also blocked but there is a cave that opens up to the Arctic and then you guys were saying I could go through the Arctic and come out either here or here uh, to get into this main central area. So that is on the a list of things for us to do at some point here in an upcoming episode. Uh, but we won't be getting that, uh, to that in this episode. Okay, so let's take a look in here and see what we need to make. Uh, the drill and the uh, solar panel. Okay, so let's let's do the drill first. So we're going to need some more electronics. And um, we have three in there. What are we short on? We need organic resin. Do I have any organic resin here? I do. Okay, let's grab some of that. Uh, I got a little bit of silica left in here, actually. Oh, and some steel bloom. Let's put the steel bloom in here. Um, in fact, that's the main reason why... I guess that wasn't running. Because we still have some more titanium here. I guess that's the main reason why I need an iron is because I, I completely ran out of steel. We got plenty of copper, as you can see here. Let's grab a couple more of those ingots and put them in here. Along with that organic resin. And uh, we need five electronics. Is that what it was? Let's take a look. Let's take a look-see. Yep, and then we also need some steel screws. I screwed up. <laughs> Let's see what I did there. Uh, and accidentally made a way more steel screws than I intended to, which is partly why I'm out of steel. Um, so yeah, did that. It's done, but we'll use them. Okay, so let's make another one of these electric deep mining drills. I like the electric drills for two reasons. One, they are 50% faster than the biofuel drills. And two, they run off electricity, which means I don't have to go refill them. Um, they are quite a bit more expensive. And what's even more expensive is the solar panels to make all that work, but it is worth it in my opinion. Um, okay, so let's see, we need 30 more electronics now. How many can we make in total? 20, all right, let's make the 20 and then we'll see uh, what we're gonna be shy on. It looks like probably epoxy. A uh, Copper is not an issue right now. Uh, we have lots of that. Uh, so we'll grab a couple more of those ingots out of here and put those in there so they're in there. Let's actually take a stack of steel screws and put those in here just keep them in there. I don't think we got a bear outside. Oh, um, what else was I going to say? Uh, so what I was reading in the patch notes is if you look at the storm meter in the upper right hand corner, the forecast, each one of those squares is supposed to represent about 60 real time minutes and we're supposed to only get, if I understood it right, one storm within each one of those blocks. So that means one storm per, you know, 60 minutes, if I read that correctly, uh, which is fine. I, I, I'm okay with that. That's about, I don't know, more or less what it was before. But it was just crazy before they fixed that. I mean, it was just continual storming, and it was like, I, I, I didn't deliberately think to myself, I'm not going to play this until they fix it. But as it turned out, I didn't play it until they fixed it just because I had too many other things going on. Okay, we're also going to need some composites for this. We're going to need four more composites. Um, that we make in here, and we need composite paste for that, uh, which requires iron ore and gold ore. Do I have any composites already made in here? I don't. Um, all right. We are probably going to have to go out and get some resources then. That's all extra stone. Just trying to see if I maybe left anything up in here. There's some carbon fibers. Uh, those were our old... Here, actually, I'm going to grab those back out of there. Those were our old um, mods until we upgraded them. We're going to need... I think it said like 60 glass, which is another reason why we need more silicon. Let's put the glass in here. I'm going to stick those in there, too. Okay, so yeah, we're just waiting on the electronics and the composites now. So, uh, what are we short on now for electronics? We're short on epoxy. Okay, do I have any epoxy in here? I got 13, plus we can make a few more with the, uh, the, the bone meal stuff there. Okay. Stick those in here. We need 10 more electronics. How many can we make? Seven. 
Yeah, we're going to have to go grind for some resources. There's just no two ways about it. Okay, so let's see then. Um, we'll put these three electronics in here. And so we're going to need stuff for composites and we're going to need stuff for electronics. So composite paste requires iron ore and organic resin and gold ore. We got plenty of gold ore. Um, but we don't have plenty of iron ore. So let's put a full stack of gold ore in here. Well, I guess we already had a little bit. And the organic resin requires oxide and wood. That we probably have a decent amount of. Let's grab a stack of wood. Well, maybe we don't have a, a lot of wood left at the moment. We'll grab two stacks of wood, and we should have... Oh, there's some more silica right there. Okay, good, good. Uh, let's grab a couple stacks of oxide. And we will just whoop up a bunch of these because we use them for lots of different things. We'll get that going. And then... Um, why is that... What am I missing here? Why is that... No, oh, never mind. I'm, I'm having a, a brain fart. Forget I said anything. Just forget it. Don't, don't even mention it. Okay, we'll put those in there. I need to refill my my canteens. Um, why isn't that... Oh, because I'm hitting the wrong button. That's why. I was going to say, how come I'm drinking from that instead of filling it? Okay, good. It's those filled up. All right, we'll grab all this organic resin. We can make exactly one of those. And uh, we'll put the organic resin in here. And we need gold. Ref or refined gold. Let's grab a, a couple of these stacks. I just finished playing some Seven Days to Die, so I'm using Shift Click instead of Control Click. I wish all these guys would just use the same commands for all their games. It's too confusing for my brain. Let's put this in here. And let that get cooked up. Is uh, yeah, that has priority over titanium. So after this ingot's done, then it should fix out. But it does matter because we don't have enough to do it right now, anyway. Um. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, how many more of these can we make? Three more. That's exactly what we needed, I think, isn't it? Uh, well, at least for the electronics. We still need the composites, too. Yep. Okay, so we're just waiting on four more composites. We didn't. We ended up not using this other stack of wood, so I'm going to put that back in there for now. Put the spoiled meat in here. Okay, so iron ore is our stopping point. And um, the only place, that, or I should say the nearest place I have iron ore is right at the, I think, the entrance of the cave that goes into the desert. And then, of course, there's a lot of iron ore in the desert caves because I haven't really cleared that out and cleared the other stuff out, like the copper and the titanium and whatnot, but not the iron. So there is plenty of iron to be had. It's just that we have to go quite a ways to get it. So, I think what we'll do is we'll sleep. Let's do that now. Okay. And let's harvest the garden really quick before we set out and make sure our critters have uh, plenty of food in their trough. Didn't I just water you? You're already out of water? For goodness sakes. Shut up, bear. Yeah, I guess these aren't quite ready yet. Uh, the carrots are. Okay, let's grab those. I 
I wonder if they ever fixed this hunting rifle. That just pisses me off. There is no way that that should be missing. Look where my look where my sight is. It's right on that bear's head. He's not anywhere close to being out of range for this gun, and it doesn't hit him. So irritating. It's bullshit. It makes this gun only useful as a close range shotgun because it doesn't. I can't get any long range hits on it. Maybe what we ought to do is grab the bolt rifle and use that for sniping, and then we could still use this, I guess, as a shotgun. they got to fix that, man. And don't you dare say it's my aim. <laughs> Some of you are going to say it's my aim, but it's not. Absolutely not my aim. I mean, I, I admit, I don't have the best aim in the world. I have potato aim, but it, that's not the problem here. The problem here is this gun is not working the way it's supposed to. How's this fuel doing? Yeah, it's in pretty good shape. I'll just let that keep going. Okay, so uh, let's go check the critters. Um, this is gonna we're gonna just do a quick run, so we'll take Liberty Mutual with us instead of the Buffalo. Oh, you guys got lots of food actually. Uh, okay, so here we'll throw the squash in there. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Can't see. All right, you're, you're good. Do you have any, you don't have anything in your inventory. Okay, good. Put this stuff in here. And let's have a pie and a pie and a fish curry and a bacon. Roast vegetables. Okay, so that should get a, keep us in pretty good shape for food. Stick you in there. And I think we're ready to set out. Uh, looks like our t tools and all of that are in good shape. Is there a mod for increased iron yield? Take a look. So we want to choose the pickaxe attachment. Okay, that's titanium. That's platinum. That's copper. Gold. They don't have one for iron. Huh. Okay. So we'll just keep our, our titanium mod on there, which is what I believe we have on there right at the moment. All right, let's go, dude. We are off to get some iron. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right here. <laughs> I got lost. that oh yeah well here so much for the performance fixes it's still oh you know what this this is damaged from the storm we're gonna have to upgrade this to concrete too I've completely forgot about the bridge um crap all right I don't have my hammer with me either yeah we got to fix that because I don't want this thing to get destroyed oh come on game Stay out there, don't wander too far away. Here's our repair hammer. Uh, we're gonna need, we might need some wood to re uh, repair it before it's all said and done. And while I'm thinking about it, let's get this recharged. 
Yeah, I can't... As of right now, I can't say that I notice any performance improvements. It's still pretty much shit, like it's been all along. I'm sad to say. Okay. So that foundation didn't take damage, but the bridge pieces obviously have. I'm glad I discovered this before we took off. I mean, they probably would have been okay. Uh, they don't take that much damage, but it all adds up over time. I'm going to assume the pillars have not taken damage. Yeah, they should be fine. Because they're considered foundations. I hear something growling. I think it's a jaguar. Oh, yeah. He's right there on my island. Okay, let's see if this works. It worked that time. <laughs> it worked that time. And for some reason, I just took damage. I have no idea why. Why am I taking damage? So you're telling me that the piranhas can bite me while I'm on five feet above the water on my bridge. Seriously? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? They must be spitting piranhas with stone penetrating venom. For Pete's sake. All right, I'll put the hammer back. And then we'll take off Liberty Mutual. Here, we might as well repair it again so that it's in uh, good condition. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm just going to go across the water. for the game to decide to load in it the next chunk or what, however it handles that. Every time I move in this direction, that happens. Oh, I just remember something. One of you guys told me in the comments that there's a there's actually a, a cave in the lake, a, a, an underwater cave. Uh, and I didn't know that. So maybe we ought to check that out. Not a good time to get stuck. Uh, I don't remember though where they said it was. So I guess what we have to do is kind of look around a bit. You know the problem though with me doing going in that cave is Liberty Mutual is going to be out here all by himself. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll have to do that another time. I'll have to come come over here on foot to do it because I can't leave a critter outside while I dive under the water and go into a cave. And I doubt I can bring the critter into the cave, so we'll come back over here on foot at some point and do that. I see they still haven't fixed the lighted cave while you're on your mount glitch. Fine with me. They can, they can keep that bug. It's useful. <laughs> okay, so I've cleared most of the iron out of this cave, but I think I left some towards the entrance into the desert. Um, actually, no, that's not iron. I'm sure there's nothing up that way. Um, Houston? Uh, 
Okay, do we walk through here or not? I think we're okay. Wow. That's a little unnerving, I'm not going to lie. That's a little unnerving. Oh, we got some gold and platinum in here. Wait a minute, and aluminum? I could have sworn I cleared everything out of this cave. Did some of it respawn? Oh, wait, we might have bigger problems, you guys. What in the heck? All right, I think it's time for me to restart my game. Okay, it looks like the floor of the cave is back the way it's supposed to be. And uh, again, I'm, I'm really surprised that I missed these ores, but that's a nice a nice problem to have because now we can now we can harvest them. Um, so let's do it. Makes me wonder if I should have put my copper or gold fitting back on here, but I just wasn't expecting this. Grab the aluminum. It's possible that these respawned too, you know, for some reason with the update. Or maybe I just missed missed them and thought I had gotten them when I didn't. That's also very possible. Very, very much within the realm of possibility. Okay. okay that's it for over that way. Here we go. There's some platinum here. We'll grab that. And I think that does it for the ore in this part of the cave. The other thing, too, is I vaguely remember there being multiple iron nodes in here, so I wonder if some of them, you know, reset to a different type of ore. Who knows, man? Who knows? It's a mystery. Okay, so whilst we're here in Le Desert, we are going to look for silicon because we're low on that, and we'll, we'll work our way... Uh, we'll work way over to the first cave along the, you know, um, the east side of the canyon here. Are you a baby or a, mo a mama? You're a baby. Okay. The mama would attack me if I get too close. Let's have uh, Liberty Mutual follow us. And I'll just go on foot for a bit here. Okay. So, you know, just kind of what's in my mind for what's coming up. Uh, we are going to... I guess we might as well harvest these guys because I could use the bones. Uh, we are going to be getting the rest of the house and now our bridge is upgraded to concrete. So we got to get that done. And then um, what we will do is... Head into the Arctic. Make sure we're prepared to go into the Arctic. We're going to look for mushrooms, and we're going to see if we can find a way through to the other side. If we cannot do that, if that doesn't work, for whatever reason, and that entrance is also blocked, then we're going to have to do some missions to get, to get out of Ring Lake and this desert biome. 
because I don't want to spend the whole rest of this series just in these two biomes. I want to get out and explore sticks. Uh, I have been in the Central River or Great River Basin or whatever it's called on multiplayer, but I haven't been into any of the other biomes. Alright, let's put a couple stacks of stuff in Liberty. That is 18 kilograms. That's 11 kilograms. 10, 13, 14. Yeah, we'll just put the two stacks of silicon in his inventory. And I think... Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and drop this stuff. I'm going to keep the bones, but we're going to drop the rest of this just to, you know, for inventory management purposes. And I'm probably, we're probably not going to get any more silicon right now either. Let's just go get iron for the rest of our carrying capacity. So I know there's a cave up along here somewhere. We'll come back later uh, to work on getting more silicon as needed. I don't remember. Was there a cave up here? Let's go take a peek. It kind of has that feel to it. Come on, game. You're killing me. I thought I had come over here once before to check things out, but I just don't remember. Yeah, I think that's a cave right there, isn't it? It surely is. I don't even know if we've been inside of there. Let's go all the way to the end, just so we can say that we did. Okay, yeah, I don't really see anything else over here. Okay, let's go check out this cave. Scorpion still following us? I don't think so. Hey, where are you going? Get over here. care of them. Oh, look at that. No, no. That is not allowed. Not allowed at all. Okay, let's get you in, up in here. We have a probably a silicon deposit there. Is that what that is? Yep. Silicon deposit. Okay. Uh, I want you to stay here. Don't follow me. And just stay there. Let's get rid of this carcass in the front so it doesn't draw more predators in. Um, I'm going to take this. We're dumping the rest. And I'm grabbing the boats. Normally I wouldn't do that, but inventory is very tight right now. I'm not even going to grab the copper. We're just going to grab iron. And we can always come back here later to get more of this other stuff. We'll grab titanium if we see it too. Well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't because that's just going to make us heavy. We don't need titanium right now. Okay, that's about it. That's all we can carry. Um, there's quite a bit more iron in here, 
and other stuff too. Is there any titanium in here? Let's just check that out. We got platinum, iron, <laughs> copper, uh, there's an, an aluminum. And it looks like that's another iron up that, that way. So yeah, I don't think we have any titanium in here. Oh, there's a gold, that's good. Yeah, that's an iron there. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Liberty and I are going to head back to the base. I'll meet you guys back there, and we will continue. All right, guys. We are back at the base. Um, let's go ahead and stick one stack of iron ore in there. And I'm going to actually just sit on the rest of the iron ore for now. And let's see, what else do we need? Uh, we need or more organic resin. We got plenty of gold and silicon in there. And let's turn all of the bone we have into to that. Uh, the rest of this silicon we're going to put up in here so we can keep making more concrete. Okay. I don't believe we need aluminum ore for anything. Um, or platinum ore, so we'll just cook those up. And the copper ore, stick in here. And um, I'll put the rest of the gold ore in here too. Okay, so we got to go back over here and grab these organic resins. And let's go ahead and how many? Of these can we make 22 uh, well we only need three more so let's let's just make what we need for now I don't want to overdo it and then we'll turn uh, this bone into epoxy okay let's grab those we'll grab the epoxy and we can how many of those can we make yeah let's make some more steel bloom too Pull those back out for a minute so we can get those made. Oh, I guess I never activated it, which is fine. As long as we put these behind, they should go after this. It used to not. It used to go in the order that it w was up here, but now it's based upon whatever's closest to the to the top and left. Great. Okay, I think we have everything we need now to make our next solar panel there we go it's a beautiful thing tis a beautiful thing okay so we got our deep mining drill our solar panel we're good to go there let's put these two items in here i'm gonna take a drink of water let's top off our food And uh, maybe we'll take some of this veggie stuff this time. Let's grab this out of here. Got some fertilizers going on. Okay, now, next thing we got to do is we need to make sure we have our electricity tool. Uh, we need to figure out where the closest iron deposit is. And I've got those written down. So I have a note that I have, there's an iron deposit on M9, which is up by the waterfall. So let's head up that way. And we will also, uh, while we're there, we'll, we'll clear out the water wheel, get the stuff on that. I'd like to make some more water wheels at some point. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we could power Ooh, I just thought of something. I wonder if we could power the drill with a water wheel. There's a bear. See, you can't tell me in real life. I I don't get it. I completely don't get it. It 
All right, is does it have a really bad trajectory drop? It shouldn't for a gun like this, but let's shoot way over his head. Nope, okay, let's shoot way below. It's not, it's not hitting him, look at that. There is no way that should be missing. If I can't hit the broadside of a bear, this game is broken. That's all there is to it. Okay, well, whatever. Anyways, it is what it is. This is now a shotgun, ladies and gentlemen. It's a close range weapon until they fix this shit. Okay. Nice, look at all the spoiled plants. I love these water wheels, you guys. They're so useful. Uh, anyway, what I was thinking is, what if we set up a water wheel to power that drill? Then it'll run day and night because the solar panels obviously don't run at night. Uh, it provides 2,000 units of power. What does this need? 2,000 would be just exactly right. All right, well, what we're going to do, we're going to set up the solar panel for now because I don't know, well, do we have what we need to make another water wheel? Let's run back and check. We're just going to do it. That would make perfect sense because then that gives us another solar panel that we will put on the third resource deposit, which would be, what would it be? Uh, I don't remember now. There was a third, oh, probably gold. Yeah, probably gold would be the next one we would want to have a regular supply of. Um, and the, the storm fix do, does seem to be working for sure, uh, which is good. Um, all right, let me actually harvest these crops real quick since they're ready. Is this a rainstorm? I didn't even look. I don't even have, I wouldn't have to water these if it's a rainstorm. Not that it's a big deal either, one way or the other. Oh yeah, let's just water them. Why are you not, there. I don't know what, what was going on there. It's not ready. Um, accidentally hit the tilde button there. And those are not ready. Okay. Let's get these next. I will eventually upgrade the entire garden to these plots that have automatic watering. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I'm not at this point planning on making the hydroponic plots anytime soon. Uh, they are incredibly expensive, but we might, you know, that might be something that'll come later on. Get these veggies in here. Look at that, man. That's uh, four more things of fertilizer right there. They're beautiful. I love it. Okay, we'll put the sponges in here. We need those for the ration pack thing. Uh, where, what are they called? Yeah, the sustenance thingies. How many of those can we make? Just one? Let's make one. Because why not? Oh, you know what? I got some of those in here too, and some epoxy. Good to know. Okay, so we wanted to see if we can make another water wheel. Uh, where is that? Okay, we need all of this stuff. We can probably pull that off. We have, uh, or we can make more copper nails. Do I have copper nails in here, though? I do not. What about in here? Nope. Okay, so let's grab... Or, or make uh, some copper nails. It said it, it wanted 60. So again, we're just gonna make what we need and not over make stuff at the moment. We need 10 electronics. We only make three. That's gonna be our stopping point. And it's gonna be the epoxy more than anything else. Let's grab some more of those. We'll deactivate you.
All right, well, that got us four electronics. Okay, what else can we work on? Uh, whoops, let's grab the copper nails out of here. I guess we only needed 50 copper nails, that's fine. Okay, we need 50 stone and 100 wood and 25 of these. Let's just put all of those in there for now. 50 stone, I think I have extra stone in here, so let's split this stack. <coughs> Excuse me. 100 wood. I'm gonna have to get some more wood here. Seven steel. There's five. And I think we made some more steel in here, yeah. Oh, there was seven right there. Oh, we'll just put all of those in there. Okay. So once again, it's electronics. No surprise there. What are we missing? Epoxy. Okay, I don't have any more bones left. Uh, we had a little bit of epoxy in here, didn't we? Okay, let's grab that. That might be enough, is it? Only enough for three more. Okay, so we got we need to come up with three more electronics in so we we might need to make some epoxy the hard way or the old way. There's more steel bloom. Uh, which means we need sulfur and tree sap. Okay. Oh man, I am I have gotta go get some more some more wood. So let's put all of these in there and we'll make tree sap out of those. We've got plenty of sulfur in here. We'll grab a couple stacks of that. Let's throw this steel in here. So we've got 81 titanium. That's very nice. Very nice little supply of titanium there. Indeed it is. All right, let's make epoxy out of these guys. And we should be able to pull this off. I love this idea, man, because, again, it'll run 24-7. And we don't have to worry about uh, nighttime, which, of course, the solar panel doesn't run at night. Okay. So I think we needed three more of these. Is that right? How many more can we make in total? Nine? Yeah. Again, let's not make any more than we need to. Electronics is such a such a choke point in this game. Uh, okay, there we go. Water wheel number two. This one will will be solely dedicated to the drill because it's going to take all of the power to do it. Um, let's leave the solar panel here for now. We will make use of that another time. And I think we're good to go. What time is it? Uh, let's sleep. Oh, we need a campfire. Okay. I also need to check my fuel levels as well. Is there any more wood in here? 16. Okay. We're getting a major overabundance of coal again. Or not coal, charcoal, rather. It is morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to actually turn this off to save the little bit of wood that we have in there. Okay, let's go and get this set up. Uh, where am I going? I'm going this way. You know, I should... <coughs> excuse me. I guess I should try DirectX 11 the next time I start the game and see if it's better, their performance optimizations work better with 11. But again, I, I am not really noticing any significant difference with 12, DirectX 12, with this latest update. Not on my machine anyways. And my machine hates this game anyways. <laughs> We've already had that conversation a few hundred times, but yeah, it does not like this game. 
Okay, let's run over here. We actually want to get over to this side. Here we go again. Come on, game. You can do it. And I believe that deposit's just right up here. There's a little island in between the streams that it's on. Uh, we got to go all the way up to the top there. Got a bear. A bear somewhere. Okay, let's see. Let me look at my notes again. I know it's up here somewhere close by. It's in M9. Which is where we, yeah, I think it's this island right here. Yep, right here. Beautiful. <coughs> okay. So let's grab the drill. And we should be able to... There's the bear over there. We should be able to put the water wheel right here. I don't see why not. What's it colliding with? Oh, as long as I can reach it out there. Oh yeah, I can reach it out there. Okay. Oh, oh we need to... Okay, we need to do this. Ha ha ha! Look at that! Fantastic! We have, ladies and gentlemen, a 24-7 supply now of iron. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. I am going to have to come up here and periodically clear out the water wheel, but I'm fine with that because we get good resources um, from doing that. Very nice. And that, and again, that gives us an extra solar panel uh, to go find the, a gold deposit, which is... Ooh, have I not found a gold deposit? Silver, copper, coal, iron, silver, coal. Yeah, I guess I have it. Um, I'll bet you we've... Is he... What's he doing? I'll bet you we've found a gold deposit in one of the caves, and I just never... I just never, um, you know, made a note of it, so... What I'm going to do then is I'm going to go around and oh. I'm going to go around to the caves just here in the ring lake biome and I'm pretty sure at least one of them will have a gold, you know, a gold a deep a deep ore deposit, a deep mining ore deposit, yeah, for gold. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll just set up the solar panel outside of the cave and run a wire into it to power that one. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to do a little bit of off-camera stuff before I record the next episode. I'm actually planning on recording, you know, more episodes today while I have a little bit of time before I have to do work stuff again. So hopefully I can get, you know, one, one, two, three, however many more out for you guys um, so I can keep you going, you know, throughout this next week while I'm going to be gone uh, for work. So with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.